This is a portable washing machine that supposedly cleans and disinfects clothes with no detergent and no agitation, but instead only uses electrolysis of water. It's billed as the world's first detergent-free mini washer, but does it really work? Let's find out in today's video. Before I get started, let's flash back to the unboxing and see how that went. This is the WashWow 3.0. I paid $69.99. Let's check it out. Instructions, very nice. Let me get that out of there. USB cable and the star of the show. Oh, that's actually smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Even It looked even bigger than the pictures, so that's really small. And you got the USB cable back here, so you got two of them. All right, so the claims are supposed to be the world's first detergent-free mini washer. Removes bodily fluids, dust, and odor. Can also be used for jewelry, glasses, and fruits or veggies. Can be used in any bucket, basin, or sink. Takes about 40 minutes per cycle. Ideal for travel, dorm, condo, RV, or camping. Not designed for large clothes. I'm not going to get too into the technical details of how it works, but if you're interested, I've got several links below that will link you to discussions of people talking about the merits of how it works or how it doesn't. There are portable washers out there. Most of those use agitation or ultrasonic technology. This one uses electrolysis of water. They say it removes odors, body fluids, organic matter, dirt, and stains, and that can all supposedly be done without detergent. They say it can be used in any basin, bucket, or sink, and they say you can use it powered through the wall or even from a power bank. It sounds great if it works. There aren't that many first-hand reviews out there for this one. There's a lot of discussion, but not a lot of people that seem to have actually used it. And nobody that I've seen has actually compared it to wash wow versus just soaking dirty clothes in a sink full of water, which is something I actually try in this video. So this video is going to have two different tests in it, one in Hawaii and one here in Vegas. When I took it to Hawaii with me, I originally was going to do a real world situation, but after rethinking it, I kind of wanted something that was going to be more visually clear whether it works or not. So I decided to do a soy sauce test because they say that it can remove soy sauce. So I had two white shirts with two stains each, one stain set for an hour, one stain was fresh. I put one in a sink full of water, one in a sink full of water with the wash wow, and the results weren't terribly conclusive, but here's how that went. Soy sauce for stain number one. This one's gonna sit for a while. Let's mess some shirts up and then get started. Ooh, is that enough? I have a little bit more. All right, a couple stripes over there. That looks pretty close to being even. All right, we're gonna let these stains sit for a little bit, come back in a while for stain take two, and then see if the device actually works. All right, it's been sitting for an hour. Beautiful stain, look at that, gorgeous. Uh, so after one hour, we're gonna turn it over this way. Turn it over this way. And we're gonna put a fresh stain that isn't gonna sit at all. We're just gonna have a immediate stain go into the sink. So stain number two. Stain number two, it's about the same. We gotta get these inside, stat. All right, this is gonna be my control sink over here. We're just gonna place it in here with nothing else, just as is. Place it underwater. There you go, you're gonna float there for about 40 minutes. Off to stain number two with the wash wow. All right, here, this, this lovely stain. All right, this one's gonna go in the sink here. Fully submerged. Now what we're supposed to do here is uh, unfurl this cable. It's a nice long cable. Nice long cable, all right. Wow, it just keeps going. I've got a little cube here I can plug it into. In the wall. Now they say press the button and fully submerge it facing up. Of course, their video shows a little bit different than that, but we'll try to do what we can. All right, the light is on. It does not feel very safe. All right. <laughs> their video shows it kind of like that. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be as fair as I can and have it kind of facing the stain. But it does kind of float, so I guess we'll just kind of leave it like that. I don't know how you face it up when it floats, but that's what their, that's what their video shows anyway, so I think we should be good. I just gotta wait 40 minutes and see how this goes. Am I confident gonna get the stains out better than the regular sink? I am not, but hopefully they surprise me. All right, so one part of the instruction says it's supposed to be 30 minutes, another part says 40 minutes. It's been 45 minutes. So let's uh, pull it out of the sink and see how it looks. All right, so see the red light is still on, so I guess I just, it, I don't know how it turns off. And it's been 45 minutes, so I think you're ready. 
Not real clear. So let's see what we got here. Mmm, yummy soy sauce water. Mmm. Um, I barely see any kind of a stain on there. Maybe a little bit on the up top here. We'll take this off outside and see how it looks in the, in the sunlight. Now let's try to see how the control shirt looks. Uh, it's hard to tell. Let's uh, let's take them outside. Let's take a closer look now. Control shirt, wash wow. Still see the stain there, still see the stain there. Uh, you know, the control shirt might look a little bit worse. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, I'm not real convinced uh, which one's better or not. I have to go back to Vegas and uh, keep trying. So at this point, I realized I needed to do more tests on the wash a while. So I brought it back to Vegas and kind of went back to the drawing board. And I thought I would do not only four stains on each shirt, but I was also going to do a third shirt for the a regular washing machine. And I was going to do the smell portion because it supposedly removes smells as well. So for the smell factor, I wanted to get the shirts wet and let them sit in a bag so they got kind of musty smelling. I could have just run them underwater, but it was raining here in Vegas, so I thought a more dramatic way to get them wet would be to get them wet in the rain. I also threw in a pair of white socks in the mix, so here's how that went. Step one is to get these shirts wet in the rain, because that's gonna, hopefully gonna get them dirty and smelly because I'm gonna let them sit in a bag overnight. So here we go, step one, get the shirts wet. I'm hoping to use roof water because that's even dirtier than just regular rainwater. <laughs> All right, so we got nice wet shirts. Let me come over here. Oh, and by the way, look at this, look at this. I'm also wearing white socks out here. We're gonna put those in there too. Here we go. These are soaking wet with nasty rain water from the roof and my socks. So we're gonna seal this up until tomorrow. Hopefully it gets nice and stinky and then we'll do our test. All right, so at this point I let all the three shirts dry and I applied four stains to each. One shirt was going to go in the washing machine. It's kind of a high-end example of what could be done. The next one was going to go in the sink full of just regular water. And the third one was going to go in a sink full of water with the wash wow. And once again, the wash wow did not really impress. Check it out. Here we go. Three plain white t-shirts ready to get soiled once again. Let's start with a uh, couple of condiments. How about some uh, ketchup and mustard? And I got the nasty mustard juice on there too. It's even better. We do four quadrants on each shirt. One stain in each quadrant and we'll see how they do. A little bit of ketchup. It is kind of like painting. I feel like, um, you know, I'm, I'm on those painting shows, but I'm painting shirts with ketchup instead. I have a little bit of mustard. Go on this side for the mustard. This is a fresh bag of dirt. And finally, just a little bit of vino. All right, so now it's time to, I'm gonna shake off the dirt from these. Hopefully the dirt left a good enough stain, but we're gonna shake it off and we're gonna head off to the sinks and the washing machine and see how these look. Contestant number one. This one's off to the wash wow. Right, this uh, close up of shirt number one. I'm not sure if the dirt's gonna be too, uh, too noticeable, but hey, well, I try it anyways. But let's put it in here. We also got these not so fresh socks that are gonna go in as well. All right, plugging in the wash wow. Pressing the button. All right, we're good for 40 minutes. Let's do the other shirts now. Shirt number two. This one's gonna go in the sink with nothing. Just gonna go as is. And add the sock. Oh, the wash well is already starting to do something over here. See that? It's bubbling. Not very good dirt stain, but it's going in the washing machine anyways. All right, so we're at about the five minute mark, I think, and it's uh, still doing its thing in here. The wash well is, there's some activity in the sink. Definitely some activity, but it's uh, got a long way to go here. And this one's just, it's just soaking. All right, here we go at the 40 minute mark. Let's take a look at the control shirt. It doesn't look like it's changed much. I still see a big old ketchup stain on there. Let's go over to the wash well. A lot of bubbles in there. I guess that uh, shows that it's working. It's really hard to tell what the stains look like because the suds are kind of uh, blocking the view. But let me pull this out, rinse them off, wring them out, and lay them next to the one from the washing machine. Well, the, the sock still is kind of dirty, but we'll see about that. I'm 
supposed to ring this off, rinse this off now. And for the control sink, uh, the sock still looks dirty. We'll compare them. We'll do the same thing. We're gonna rinse it off. All right, here are the three candidates. Obviously the one on the left is from the washing machine, clearly much better. But of these two, can you tell which one is the wash oil and which one just soaked in water? If you guess the left, that is the wash oil. I've got to admit, I'm a little bit disappointed though. Look at the ketchup mustard, about the same. Ketchup mustard. The vino and the dirt. The vino and the dirt. I'm not, I'm not impressed. Here's the wash wow sock. Now that's not a gray sole, that was actually white. Uh, and it's, it stayed that way. Just the sink soaking sock, that's also about the same. But hey, maybe the smell is better because they both, they all kind of smelled musty. Let's try the smell test. Wash machine. It smells fresh, as expected. Let's try the sink soaker next. Hmm, that one doesn't smell so great. It's still a little bit musty smelling, so they did not get the smell out just soaking in water. All right, wash wow. Big test here. Hmm, wash wow doesn't smell much better either. Man, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I can't say anything else, but I'm disappointed. 24 hours later, here is the washing machine, and here is the wash wow in the sink. Uh, it doesn't really look much different. It doesn't really smell much different. It's not much different. I should point out that the wash wow says it's good at killing germs. I can't test that, so it's not something I can really vouch for, but as far as getting stains out and removing smells, I don't think it did anything better than soaking a regular sink did. In fact, I'd rather just soak my clothes in the sink with a couple drops of detergent rather than pay 70 bucks for this one and not get any better results. And also, I should point out that I didn't notice any UL listing or ETL listing on this or the packaging, so I'm not sure it's really a good idea to stick something like this in the wall and sink full of water either. Kind of reminds me of those laundry balls I tested out a couple years ago and they didn't really do much better than regular water either. I'm glad I tried it, but I cannot recommend the Wash Wow. But if you've used this product, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.